Another new and brilliant design by yours truly. The black base color scheme to blend with shadows, but the gold highlights to give it that mystery. A one and only Peter Parker original design special. The black and gold suit. Are you kidding me? You just turned the suit inside out and call it an original design? Wow, you really need a reality check. This coming from one person who wore the same suit design for three movies and another who already had a unique original design but changed it to look identical to his predecessor? Yeah, I don't need comments from the likes of you. Kiss my black gold boots and good day to you, sir. At least I had a change in suit design. Shut up, Peter. Hello and welcome back to another review on the Ken O. Wee channel. Here it is, the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man in his quote-unquote black gold suit, which is simply just... And here's a small spoiler warning for those who have not contributed to the almost $2 billion of gross avenue this movie made. This suit is simply the original suit from Far From Home turned inside out. That's it. No cool significant meaning or sentimental values or whatever to this design. It's just Peter's inability to fully wash out a stain. That's how this suit was born. At least this package comes with a bonus portal accessory and it also comes with a special stand as well because I guess Bandai was thinking no one would buy this figure so they just threw additional accessories to make it more appealing. Maybe? Anyway, let's take a closer look. I had to swap out the eyes because the ones he came equipped with looks like he's squinting already. More on that later. In terms of the look, I'd say it's a love or hate it kind of design. Also another unfortunate thing is that this figure is based off the concept design where there were reds in the color scheme as you can see from the forearm but in the movies, it's all just black and gold, hence the name. And it seems there's actually supposed to be more gold on the forearms. You can check out how it looks in the Hot Toys images, so it is a shame we're not getting an accurate representation of the figure. It would probably look a little better without the reds, but that's just a personal opinion. In terms of the sculpt, Bandai laid it all on the figure, which is great. All of the circuits engraved all over the figure. Check out that mask alone. This is one single aspect of the figure that just makes the figure. Despite all that black, it still wasn't enough to conceal that thong. I think it's time to get rid of the spidey thong. Also, I'm not a huge fan of that big cut on the chest logo. I understand it serves a purpose, but it's really obvious and makes it look like an armor rather than a suit. So a very well sculpted figure and overall a pretty solid looking figure aside from that cutout logo on the chest and the forearm inaccuracy, but this would have been a much cooler suit in my mind had I not known about its origins. Unfortunately, there isn't anything new to the SHF Spider-Man figure's articulation. So you could see my SHF Iron Spider review to see the full extent of this figure's articulation if the pictures were not enough to demonstrate that. In the meantime, enjoy these pictures while I take a sip from my beautifully brewed coffee. Mmm, coffee. Now we come to the good bit, accessories. Comes equipped with face punching hands, hands to hold the web, web shooting hands and wall crawling hands. Comes with the usual pair of pre-ejaculated webs, fully ejaculated webs and one long bendy web. There's a Tamashi stand pack as always to pack to the back of Spidey. He does come with interchangeable eyes which has not changed since the first release. So normal eyes, enlarged eyes and squinted eyes but to me the enlarged eyes looks more normal than the rest. And we do have an interchangeable unmasked Peter head. Looks the same as the previous sculpt, maybe just a tad more blush but at least he comes with the integrated suit figure's neck accessory. So you can use this unmasked head on that figure but it's also a shame that you'd have to purchase this package in order to get the accessory for that figure. Goes to show how much confidence Bandai had with this figure's sale. And finally for something new, he comes with this transportation thingy on his arm and he also comes with the effect. If you watch the movie, you know what this does. And it's fine. Like Spider-Man is trying to shoot some laser beams. Pew pew. And he also comes with the glow on his logo accessory. As much as I like more accessories to play with, honestly, I'd rather have my figure not have that chest cut out. And of course, we have the transportation ring and the base stand. 
The base stand design is really nice though. Look at all the little lines. Beautiful. And the transportation ring? Well, it's okay. The cutouts are of course a little distracting, but at least now you have an additional accessory for Doctor Strange figures, which is always welcomed. Any accessory is better than no accessories. And here is the accessory guard Spider-Man black gold suit standing next to other figures for scale comparison. So in summary, this is just a personal opinion and I don't know if it's the suit design or the significance of this suit. Or maybe it's the fact that there's nothing new SHF Spider-Man figures have to offer. But this figure just doesn't excite me as much as the previous releases do. Of course, if this is your first Spider-Man figure or if you saw the suit in the movies and you fell in love with it, then you can't go wrong with this figure. But if you're like me and you've been collecting every single SHF Spider-Man that Bandai has ever released, then things have to change a little bit. Heck. Give me Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man figure. Now that will be more interesting. Take away the thong, please, with the love of Aunt May. Oh, Aunt May. Anyway, that concludes my review of this figure. Let me know your thoughts about this figure in the comment section down below. Insta buy or Insta pass. With that all said, thank you all very much for watching and I hope you can continue supporting me by hitting all those buttons. I appreciate all of your support and until the next video, take care. Like to see more videos like this one? Well, say no more. Let me present to you the end screen. Click on video 1 or video 2 for more entertainment. These videos were carefully selected by highly trained professionals to suit your entertainment needs. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you don't, I shall haunt you in your sleep. So click it! I was just kidding, by the way. Okay, bye!